Uh, right now, it's currently working as a farmer over here. Um, we can put it in industry, money, science. It looks like it's... Oh, there we go. Okay. I think the amount of food you need to grow increases with your population. So this actually may have not been smart right now because even though we're producing more food, it's not actually happening any faster. What I might do is I might fling us into industry, which will shave a turn off making the farmer's quarters. Okay. Uh, so we'll get it in three turns instead of four. And the farmer's quarters gives us um, more farmer slots, more food. I think, I think that's it. I'm going to put it in industry right now and we'll see. Egyptians in snow kind of feels wrong. They're just like, they just took a long walk. All right, we have to start some research. Woo! So this is the stuff we can research currently. We can check out the technology tree. There are many different eras as well of science to go through. We're going to turn ourselves over here. Um, let's think about this. So the calendar, and again, I love these little art pop-ups over here. The calendar gives us access to the artisan's quarter, which is what we build on a luxury resource to exploit it, which is great. We can also build a granary inside of a city, which gives us more food per farmers, which might be good. Uh, domestication, I believe, will reveal horses. So some of our question marks that we see on the map could be horses. Um, this gives us animal barns, where we get food from, from well, it's a horse icon, but it's like livestock is really what it represents. Um, scout riders, which might be interesting. Carpentry, clear forest, lumber yards, archers, city defense. I think it's either calendars or domestication. I'm going to go for calendar first, I think. What kind of research? Well, um, unless there are horses over here. You know what? Maybe I'll go domestication. We'll reveal if this might be horses. Because it might be valuable to be able to exploit that as early as possible. Oh, and we need horses for our unique unit. Yes, says Spirey just now. Excellent thinking. Perfect, yes. All uh, right. We're going to move you up here. So what we're going to be looking to do is start spending our influence to claim more terrain or territory. Uh, so someone's become Nubians. Okay. We've plundered. That's groovy. Pop a little bit more fog of war over here. Oh, wait! Horse is already revealed! Oh, never mind! Ew. Off we go! Okay, I'm gonna move down over here so we can get some vision. We might claim this territory. Do we see horses anywhere else? Up over here. But that's not adjacent to my capital territory. Actually, this place isn't adjacent either. We're going to have to expand twice before we can get horses. Huh. Let's go. There could be something over here as well. Oh, I should, um, I should ransack the sanctuary here. Oh. Wow, this guy is so lost in the snow. Oh, man. And he's wearing next to nothing. Like, woo! He's going to freeze his somethings off. Oh! Our neighbor to the south has expanded over here. Which makes me think maybe I claim this territory just to sort of block him. Mmm. I think they claimed you in the game I have from earlier watching it starting in. Yeah. I got the same message. Like, I, I claimed myself even though I clearly had myself already. Wow, that is an insanely productive tile. That's not going to add a lot of food, but if we expand Memphis to this terrain, we're going to get a crap ton of extra production. I do like it, like I do like the idea of um, claiming it from our neighbor over here as well, and kind of blocking that. It seems going to be okay. So uh, the influence is going to cost us ten here. I believe the influence cost goes up based on how many outposts you got, as well as how far away it is. I see no reason not to go and claim this right away. I think that's going to be very valuable for us to do that. Um, we could also plan on maybe a second city quite early, but we still have to get our first city going. I don't know if, to claim this, I don't know if we actually have to have it worked by a city for the horses to be something that we get to take advantage of. We actually might be okay. I'm going to claim this territory. Oh, see, we need 70 influence for this one, so we're going to have to wait a little bit. We're getting five influence per turn, so we're going to get it fairly soon. I guess we can just scoot a boot a little bit more Over this way. while we wait for that to accrue.
so frosty. Don't like it. I don't like it at all. Someone went with the Omex, finally. Culture conversion started. Alcor will enter. That's over here. Enters fear of influence in Nubians in five turns. <gasps> How dare they? So the outpost is still constructing over here. Off we go. Stuff to uncover some terrain over here. Over this way. Can't breach there. Not until we gain the ability to swim. I like how like because it doesn't know if like the, that the if the fog of war is walkable or not. Right? It's got to assume. So it's like, well, maybe we can get around to it that way. I love how instantly fast the pathfinding is too. I'm wondering about just taking the scout home and um, just having him join Memphis. What's the wind-up thing with the red in the top? Or this one? So we have a major event waiting our attention here. Life is we met wonderful, a neighbor. Not. Treat me and my people with respect, and all will be well. There we go. Um, yes, thank you. We're going to introduce ourselves to the Nubians. Hello! Heartfelt greetings. Let us see if we can build a better world together. My voice is in the game! My voice is in the game! I didn't know that it was if it was gonna be in on this beta yet! Or an impediment. Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh so two or three months ago, I spent two days in a recording studio recording. I can't remember. I'd have to re I'd have to check my email or my uh, Discord, but it's like like a thousand lines of dialogue or something like that. Like hundreds anyway. Lines of dialogue. <laughs> oh, including a few in jokes for those of you who are uh, uh, members of the community. <laughs> oh, I wish I could go back in time and just tell like childhood me what's going on in my life right now. Do you say what could possibly go wrong? Eh, it, it might come up, yeah. <clears throat> there also might be lines about pacifism. I think there's one about Brussels sprouts as well, but I can't recall. What I'm curious about is if it's going to be possible to rip out all the, uh, the voice files from this. And, like, make, make a me soundboard. <laughs> um, all right, so yeah, we're at peace. Um, we've got nothing to trade right now. Um, I, I don't even know if they'd be you know, interested in starting this. Let's, let's go ahead and wait. So Frankie over here is impulsive and forgiving. That's good. When we meet me, you'll also see what my traits are. I'm just going to wait for now and not do anything else. Whiskey and chocolate. Hey, no one! Now that you're, now that you're a part of the SAG for the voice acting, you have to pay dues for screaming too. <laughs> um, I have no idea that there's no... Yeah, there's no... I'm not part of any any special uh, any special guild or union. I'm just happy. My face is actually hurting from smiling right now. Oh, I'm so pleased. Because they didn't know, uh, my contact didn't know if the um, the voice line made it into this build or not. It was supposed to, but he said he couldn't 100% guarantee that it had made it in. So I was like, all right, all right. We might just have to play this a ton this week. Okay, so our farming is done over here. Population growth in two turns. We actually can get it in one turn, so let's go ahead and accelerate that, because that's going to be quite good. Um, I can build more scouts, but here's the thing. Building units consumes population. You can see the little minus one peeps right there. Right there. Am I going to cut off from my, my screen limits? But it actually, you know, you're taking some of your population and sending them out. So I don't want to build any units right now. Um, I am going to build a pyramid because it's our unique improvement. So let's go ahead and get that going. So we're going to put that down over here. Boom. So yeah, our stability currently is currently at 100, um, but it is over 90. I think 90 represents the... Um, uh, our, what do you call it? like sort of the, the, the resting point, the trending point. So we have a minus 10 right now because we built an extra district. So it's currently going to drop every turn until it hits that 90%. Um, so we'll want to do things that increase it if, if, if we can, uh, because as this drops, we will start to get various like penalties to all kinds of things. If it gets really low, we can't build districts and the city might revolt and things. But right now we're still fine. Nothing to worry about quite yet. Next turn, we'll be able to build that other outpost, which is going to be nice. So yeah, that's going to be fine there. All right, and turn. You have two Quill 18s in your inventory? <laughs> Make them fight each other. Someone's become Babylonians. 
And someone has discovered Mounts of Vesuvius. Oh, we have an offer! Let's talk. I love her hair. I mean, it's very, um... We will reflect the plan. It's very... Who am I, am I thinking of? Um... Who's that actor who is, she's in like every movie with Johnny Depp. She was the evil, uh, the evil witch in Harry Potter, um, a Bellatrix Lestrange, you know her? Hel uh, yeah, Helena Bonham bon Carter. She's got a little bit of that sort of, that, that I'm slightly a little crazy kind of hair look. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so she would like us to start having the option of trading luxury resources, which sounds great. Hey, I was going to offer it to you. Um, but I wasn't sure, you know, I didn't want to be too forward. And I agree, let's get the voice sounds up. Alright, here's what's gonna happen. I can drop the other sounds, and leave the voice volume capped out. And try not to talk over it. Okay. I'll just have to shut up next time it comes up. There's a sanctuary that spawned behind us, so let's go in. Oh, I think that was always there on top of the hill. You are having a hard time getting through this terrain here, buddy. It is so pretty, though. Oh, look at the little waterfall and everything. Like, how gorgeous is this? What oh, a lair. Meanwhile, the guy who was exploring the frosty north is now in less frosty terrain. I was coming here. Okay, Alcor, I'm gonna link you. Here, are, there's a cost to attaching, isn't there? 30. I think I want to attach Alcor right away. Rather than put down another outpost, I think I want to attach this immediately for like, because it, it's generating tons and tons of production. Like ludicrous amounts of extra production for Memphis. So let's do that right away. Yeah, our industry just took a huge boost over here. Massive. Massive boost. We're producing things so much faster than we were a second ago, um, which is really wonderful. Uh, we do have two population over it. Right, because our population grew. I, th I think I'm still liking the idea of focusing on the food. So right now, we grow in six turns. If I send another farm over there, we'll grow in four. I think I want to keep boosting the population. It seems pretty good, especially since we just increased our production tons by linking to Alcor here. I think this seems like a really good idea. And, I mean, we're we're all new, still noobs to this game because everything is like literally brand new. So who knows what is best? But this is it's feeling very good. Oh yeah, the auto explore toggle. Ah, I won't be lazy and use it yet. Right, yeah. Someone found Mount Rorema. All right. Right, you were done that. We got those horsies over there. Now, what do we have over here? This is silk. There's sage. Although sage isn't. Oh, it is, it is in our capital. Okay, so we already have access to Sage and Silk, a couple of luxuries, which is good. We are going to want Copper. We're also going to want Horsies. So I'm going to have to really claim this or this if I want it to be contiguous, but it doesn't have to. I could also decide to just put an outpost here to start a new city. And that might be a thing. Right now, I'm still just interested in scouting out the terrain. If we could find some more of those wonders, that would be nice. And yeah, at some point we'll have to get some era scores or stars so that we can progress forward. Ooh, it's a curiosity. Not a whole lot of them left on the map. I I don't think I don't know if the curiosities respawn once you leave the Neolithic era. I think when you're Neolithic, they respawn just because that's the only way you can actually progress. But I think after that they start to slow down. I guess you're at that point your people sort of know more, less things are a curiosity. You're not like, ooh, shiny rock. Oh, never seen rock this shiny before, right? Then it becomes more like, ah, this is jewelry. You can do something cool with it. So yeah, I know the Games Together website got uh, hammered. Um, what are we covering now? I guess I'm covering a little bit. I'll put it on the other side over here. Yeah, let me know if the uh, any of the stuff is covering bits and bobs. Might depend partially on what screen I'm in at any given time. I think I still want to go somewhere over here. I still wonder if this scout might join Memphis. So yeah, 
cultural conversion things going on over here, which is still something I don't know as much about. But yeah, there is like culture impacts on tiles. Um, there's a filter for it. But I don't remember where it is. Oh, I don't think we're going to attack this guy. Well, because yeah. Wine. Are you vinegar? I can't wait to meet me so that we can have dialogue with myself. We need to get some luxury resources hooked up so that we can start trade and make some money. Uh, is this thing? Ah, oh, thank you. Now, yeah, they're the most influential. They'll flip it in ten. If we were to find print hold. So yeah, if we could get a little bit more influence over here. I don't know how we can push it though. I don't know the uh, I don't know the influence mechanic that way. I do know we can produce influence and we use it to spend um, influence to do things. But presumably maybe spending producing more influence will also boost us there too. So hopefully something like that will happen. Um, I guess keep moving down here, because there's more terrain to find. Yeah, I think the pyramids add influence as well. I think you're right. It's like production and influence we get from it. Schwarzwald is discovered. Oh, I discovered it! And we researched domestication. Where did we discover the Schwarzwald? Right here! That's, that's interesting that it now appears on the map. I wonder what we did to actually cause it to pop up at that point. Now, we haven't done any deeds yet, unfortunately. We haven't done the deed, you guys. Um, and yeah, we need to get some air, some stars to progress. Um, Egypt is a builder-oriented culture, so they, they've got a, a unique thing um, for building districts. But then everyone's got, like, expansionists, so if you get four territories, you know, that's eat from having influence. This, it's just total influence. We literally have to... Yeah, so no, I have 32 right now, and this it says I have 49. So I think this is, uh, this is, I've accrued 49 influence since entering this age. I think I can still spend it just fine, and there's no problems there. God, this train is great. And I, yeah, I love, other people have commented, I love the way the map pops in. Like, the elevation isn't even known. As you come in here, like, the terrain elevation lifts slowly to match what is actually the case. Just all kinds of gorgiosity. We do need to claim horses, so we gotta do that soon. Okay, next tech. Um, I don't think we'll go to irrigation of the wheel because it's very expensive right now, so we don't need that. Although, we do need the wheel ultimately for a unique unit. So we got time before we need to get our horses going on. Um, I think we want calendar for the artisan's quarters so that we can start exploiting some uh, luxury resources which we should be able to do with the Silk and the Sage over here, because those should both be within my borders, assuming I understand it. Yeah, the map elevation feature looks absolutely stunning. Yeah, it is really nice. And that's the sort of thing, like, you know, that takes time to do. But they're like, you know what? This is going to be worth the investment. And I, because to me, my favorite part of any Forex game is the exploration phase, by far. Like, it doesn't even come close. And this makes the exploration phase that much more enjoyable. Am I not going to be able to descend here? Oh no, it's too sharp of a cliff. You know, come over here. We'll meet player purple? Yeah, I think so. But you never build... Yeah, well, the problem is when we're playing um, Deity and certain other games, um, is I, I feel like it's so much of a risk to build scouts. You really need, like, pure military units. And here's interesting. Here, I've literally not built a scout, but they're just my starting population. It's a very weird and different kind of vibe. Okay, our influence production definitely went up. There we go. Converting to Egyptians. Egyptians currently became most influential... Integration population will be completed in two turns. Perfect. Okay. 
So we don't have to worry about that. We do have extra influence. We may want to build more pyramids because clearly influence is important. Again, to build our outposts, we need influence. So I'm tempted to go straight into building another pyramid. Plus, they look cool. Now, that will further drop our stability, which is down um, at 60% right now for the balance points. This will drop us to 50% stability, but kind of feels like the thing we need to do. Oh! Oh, is this unique? Unique per um, per territory. So if I want to build another um, pyramid, I have to do it down here. Well, that seems fine. Ben pyramids benefit from workers in quarters. Plus one worker slots. Hang on. Industry. Plus three industry per adjacent maker's quarters. Right. So you're right. If I were to build a maker's quarters adjacent to the pyramids, then this would benefit us. This would be a good combo. However, I'm tempted to build another pyramid for more influence. I don't know if this is the right thing to do, but I think that's what I'm going to do. The one to the bottom right of the pyramid super juice. Right over here for the maker's quarters, is what you're saying? Right here? Yeah, it's going to be a pretty pretty nice place, because we've got, you know, exploration synergies. I think I'm going to go pyramid first, though. I might be making a mistake. Again, we haven't figured out this game yet, so I, I don't know. We are going to get an extra population in a turn, which looks nice. And then, and then what we'll do is build the Maker's Quarters over here. I think I'm just going to build one more pyramid, and then that'll be good. Hey, population gain. When my when I was growing my population in Memphis. That's how the song goes, right? Purple! Greetings. I'm a good neighbor and a loyal friend. As long as you don't cross me. I don't think I actually said anything when I hit that. I want more! Would you be willing to do this? Oh, refused immediately. Alright. We'll try it again later, Olmex. So, I think I'm going to disband this unit. Let's go. And have it join the city. So, population four... Um, wait, is it going to shrink? Oh shit, yeah, we need more food production. There you go. So now it's going to grow in 11 turns. We could have it grow in 6. But maybe it's fine with this, or we could start on science. No, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have you work here for just now. So you're going to slowly grow. We'll produce a bit more. I think that's going to be alright. So the Olmec unit over here, we are definitely not looking to engage. Pull back over here. Uh, curiosity, giving us some money. Here at the sanctuary. And yeah, 70 influence over here. 20 influence over here. So, because I think it's adjacent to a city, or at least adjacent to another territory that we control. Maybe what I'll do is I'll grab this first. And then we'll see how much this one costs. I mean, there's no unique resources in this one. You know what? Hold on. Change of plans. Uh, well, there's no unique resources here either. At least this one's got a bunch of the... Um, the What is it called again? Schwarzwall. That just means the black wall, right? In German? I think? Da -da -da. There you go. Thank you very much, Essentia. Yes, in case you missed it. Uh, so, to get the drop here, if your Twitch account is connected to Games Together account, uh, you can gain a Quill 18 opponent drop and access the Humankind closed beta uh, simply by watching the stream! And currently the Games Together website is overloaded because um, everyone's trying to pre-order it and link everything right now. They are aware of it indeed. Uh, they've tweeted out about it. It's like... Huge success! <laughs> Too huge of success, maybe. Off we go! It has been a long time since, again, this is a sponsored stream, so all disclaimers in there, but it has been a long time since we've seen anything that we can properly think of as a possible civic killer. So it's not really a surprise that this website is being like crazy overloaded right now. Yeah, 
I think I'm just going to book it backwards. I can't move much because it keeps putting me in the zone of control. I'm worried that they're coming after me. Do we have a non-aggression pact with these guys? How do you do, whoever you are? I have a proposition for you. I think you'll like it. I know, I'm really quiet, right? Forget all that. Become friends? No way. Do you I hear my guys say? I have a proposition for you. Yeah, uh, so the Olmecs are kind of cranky pants. I'm, I'm, I'm a little scared 